equipped to serve. A motto well suited for Steven Sandstrom, with a degree from BYU in political science and another in architecture from Arizona State, Sandstrom dreamed of designing a better future for Utah citizens. Sandstrom was given his political legs early in life. His parents taught him about America's virtues and our nation's founding fathers. They suggested he embed those same virtues in his own life. It was not unusual for young Stephen to be fed a steady diet of America's political issues during dinner. Uh, we wouldn't talk about uh, a sporting event necessarily or um, what we did at school. We talked politics. We talked about issues of the day. We talked about our opinions. And, and my parents instilled in me a, a great sense of patriotism. By the time he turned eight, his love for politics was evident. One day he rode his bicycle into downtown Provo, picked up campaign literature, and brought them home because he wanted to help the candidates win. And we think that that was really special because to us it kind of set him apart from the rest of the young men. At the age of 14, Sandstrom earned his Eagle Scout Award. He addressed fellow scouts at state and regional events concerning the importance of the Constitution and his love for America. The guest speaker was a retired Air Force Brigadier General Robinson Reisner, who had actually been a prisoner of war in Vietnam for seven years. During his speech, he mentioned that he felt that Stephen was a young Abraham Lincoln, and we were just so proud to hear him say that and recognize that about our son. On his 17th birthday, he received his pilot's license. At 19, he left to serve an honorable LDS mission in Venezuela. In 1988, Sandstrom's passion for America led him to the U.S. Marine Corps, where he became an officer. Following his military service, he began a successful career as an airline pilot. Today, flying has become a cherished hobby. After his father's unexpected and debilitating stroke, Sandstrom walked away from aviation to help run the family business. He promised his father he would keep the company alive. His promise came to fruition as a fourth generation architect. Sandstrom Architecture has since grown to become one of the largest and most successful firms in Utah. When the opportunity to serve arose in 1993, Sandstrom served on the Orem City Council from 1994 to 2006, gaining the reputation as a physical conservative. There, Sandstrom voted no for a proposed franchise tax increase, which was costly to Orem residents. He was the only council member to vote no on an unneeded cell phone tax, and he insisted that Orem citizens be given the right to vote on all bond measures, rather than bonds being legislated behind closed doors. He is known as one of the most effective lawmakers on Capitol Hill. Because of my upbringing, the values and principles that were instilled in me from the time I was a young boy that uh, you know, helped me to be an effective representative from day one. Sandstrom vowed from the start and remains firm on the fact that he is not and never will be a single issue legislator. A gifted leader whose convictions are founded on principle, he clearly understands that government intrusions from the city, state, and or federal level can be burdensome to its citizens. I want to hear ideas and, and suggestions, and that's why I brought this bill out early. I'm not trying to do something uh, that is just thrown upon the people of the state of Utah quickly like we see happen in Washington, D.C. Sandstrom believes that through state sovereignty, we can help restore America and return to its constitutional foundation. Sandstrom's efforts are focused on creating jobs for Utah's unemployed and keeping his pledge to fight for the education of our children. He believes that every child deserves a good learning experience and a chance for a bright future. Steve Sandstrom is a champion of public education and anyone who would say otherwise is not telling the truth. Sandstrom has worked vigorously for Utah residents by protecting its school children with House Bill 103. He was the only state representative who responded to the PTA's plea for reduced speed zones at signalized crosswalks. This required changing state law immediately, and he went to work. Steve Sandstrom cares about Utah's children. He demonstrated this to me personally by being instrumental in the grassroots effort of a school safety zone bill. Too many times in the news, we have sadly discovered the improper relations between a teacher and his or her students. 
Representative Sandstrom led House Bill 287, which protects students from inappropriate relationships outside the classroom. Because of the law, several teachers were excused from teaching. Sandstrom sponsored House Bill 81, the Healthcare Patient Protection Act. This bill requires patients to show their IDs to hospitals and medical professionals. The new law now protects a patient's confidential medical records from identity theft. Sandstrom ran legislation that closed a loophole in state law, which had opened the door for Indian casinos. House Bill 104 prevents bars and taverns from operating casino nights and other gambling-like activities. The law also closed down bingo parlors that operated under the loophole. Sandstrom stood charge, making Utah one of only two states that outlaws all forms of gambling. Stephen is an avid mountain climber and adventurer who appreciates nature's wildlife. In 2008, he passed House Bill 117, the Trout Habitat Protection Act. This bill protects the home of indigenous trout, and now they'll forever remain abundant in Utah for future generations. He loves spending time in the outdoors with his family and believes our fragile environment must be cared for and carefully managed. A loving husband and a father of four, Sandstrom finds his greatest enjoyment with family. His wife, Jen, is frequently by his side, and together they make quality time with their children. Now, through the years of service to our community and to the state, Stephen really has understood that family comes first. He's been a wonderful husband and a fabulous father, and that has been a real blessing in our lives. Their happiest moments are found camping and exploring Utah's beautiful backcountry. Stephen also volunteers his time coaching sports and is heavily involved with the lives of his children. My dad's always been there to support us and help us and couldn't ask for a better father. He's taught me lots of important things and he's just the greatest dad in the world. It could be said that Stephen Sandstrom belongs to that rare class of leader who listens to the voter, does what he says, and whose work ethic is punctuated with integrity, honesty, and principle. Stephen Sandstrom, equipped to serve.